Yeah, don't don't go for that shit, man. All right, I think we've got another guard over here, if I'm correct. I don't see anybody. Nope, don't do that. All right, I think we're safe. Hmm, which way to go? Let's go up. Oh, so we've pretty much found nothing so far. That's just great. Oh, yeah. All right. Got another guard right here. Seems this leads to flat land here, but we're just going to go in the door and continue on. Continue on. All oh, right, now we're making progress. So what do we got in here? It looks like an empty prison cell. So it looks like this place was some sort of correctional facility. Hey, you, young man, over there. Look over here inside the cell. Where? I'm inside the cell. What are you talking about? Oh, the other cell. Okay. How do you see me through the wall? Yes, speak. I have no idea where you came from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. Not guts, man. Skill. I'm, it's skill. It's all skill. All my fellow carpenters are in prison somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. Yeah, you repay the favor in a really shitty way, might I add. But be grateful. There's sure to be Jerdu guards around here. Or be careful, not grateful. There's sure to be Jerdu guards around here. Ooh, watch out! Yep, and that's right. We have to fight a Jerdu lady. So what I like to do is try to stay close to this lady. Because if you get far away, she's going to do a little spin move, as I'll show you. I'll just, I'll just let her show you that. And if she hits you with that move, you instantly get sent back to the prison cell. So most of the time, though, she'll only try that move if you're far away. But if you're close and she starts doing it, you can just stab her, get a stab in. So I just go all out and kill her and try to keep it up close. And yeah. <coughs> when you beat them, you get a small key. Okay, enough with the boxes. We've got 500 rupees. What else could possibly be in there? Look at this guy. He's over here throwing a fit, man, because we saved him. He's like, that was some that was better than Tyson Holly Holyfield. Did you come here to save me? Oh, that's just swell. I'm Ichiro the Carpenter. Ichiro Suzuki. We were really interested in joining the all-female group. They locked us up like this just because we're men. You believe that shit? Look at my afro. Seriously, what is up with this guy's hairstyle? They couldn't come up with better character designs. Yeah, so there's three more carpenters locked up. We gotta save all these guys because they're just dumb. They just came in here hoping to become thieves when they were already making an honest living being carpenters. But no, they wanted to go the bad route. They wanted to try to be bad boys, bad asses. Yeah. How do you expect to be a thief if you're fat? You got you got to be slim, slender, and you know, ready to do evasive maneuvers and stuff, man. You got to do a barrel roll. You know what I'm saying? In the face of danger. Oh, great. Oh, this is that um, this is the food room again. The boiling pot, the pot of death, the trap. Yeah, we don't want to go there. Alright, so you can climb down those vines, but I just like to jump because, you know, that's how I roll. Or how I jump, I suppose you could say. Oh, what have we got here? This was the room I was in, isn't it? The room where they have in magic? Oh, nope, looks like this is another... Uh, carpenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to listen to these guys because they all talk the same. They all say the same stuff. Where I come from, I come from Kokiri, bitch. But I grew up because I'm really a Helian. The little Deku Tree Sprout told me that. But, uh, on to more important matters. I assume there's a Jurudu. There's a Jurudu guard somewhere around here. She's behind me, isn't she? She's behind me. Bring it, bitch. I gotta be on somewhere. Bring it! Oh, maybe okay, I got hit up on me, but. You will fall. This is. Hyrule! You found the small key. Oh, when she jumps out of the way, it makes a tektite sound. I was like, there's no way there's a tektite in here. Alright, so I got a small key, but we're not saving this guy. Fuck him. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna save him. He's like, dude, where are you going? Asshole. This guy doesn't have quite as big of an afro, but, uh, you're a cute kid. Oh my god. Jiro. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was trying to say in the first place, but you were an idiot, and you tried to come here and do... S Look at Link with his hand on his hip, and he's, like, following this guy's hand motion or head motion or something because he keeps leaning back and forth watching him. Oh, my God. That guy needs a shirt on. First of all, his boobs are poking out, and he called me a cute kid. Like, oh, what the... 
What's going on here, man? Oh, God, I don't know. I don't even want to know what's going on here. I don't. I really don't care. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot they send you. Oh, Duck Link. They put you right out in the mix here. Um, so yeah, let's go in this door. They just throw you right out in front there. Right into the thingy of the thingy. Okay, this looks potentially dangerous. Peer around the corner, 007 style. There's no guard over here, is there? Okay, no. Right, hide behind the box. And go up here, hide behind the box. No, get down, Link. God damn it. You're gonna give us away. Alright, so we're just gonna perch over this box. Right in the fucking face. Gotcha. Metal Gear Link. Man, I already named an episode in this LP Metal Gear Link, didn't I? That was a blind shot, really. I didn't. I haven't. Oh my god, we're back in this room? What's the point? Alright, so that was a waste of time. Let's get out of here. This is that death pot room where the pots kill you. Or they, they have. Death stew. Alright, so let's go in this door then. This door must be something interesting. Ah, yes, another carpenter. Hey, buddy. Why did they put two of these guys on the bottom floor? You'd think they'd put them all on top so that you'd have to go through a lot to get to them. But no. Alright, I'm gonna take a drink of Dr. Pepper. Sorry my commentary is not as interesting, but like I said, it's well, it's 12 o'clock at night now. It's 12.15. So... What the hell? Oh, that's my fan. Okay. So I have to be kind of quiet because, you know, I don't want to wake everybody up in the house. And when I'm being quiet, I don't feel like I can be as funny. I don't know why. But be careful. There's sure to be dirty guards around here. Oh, watch out! Yeah, now, yeah, that guy said that too. Oh, really? I was going to do a charge shot, and then I realized she started pouncing up for that move, so I was about to back up. And then she hit me. I can't believe I let that happen to me. Oh, I'm getting careless. It's funny, too, because you watch other LPs of people doing that, and you're like, man, how could they be so stupid? You know that move's coming, you know it sends you to the back, so don't fuck around with it, man. Don't play. And what did I do? I played. Thank you. So what I'm actually going to do is drop down right here and go in this door on the very bottom. It's kind of dangerous because you can get um, uh, caught by that lady, but if she's walking the other way, you'll be fine. And this sends us right back into the room where we were at. All right, revenge, bitch, is going all out on you now. You never stood a chance. Yeah. Get on out of here. Yeah, that's what the song sounds like, the remix. It's like... They, like, cut it and remix it and stuff like a DJ, kind of. Thanks, boy. You're fantastic. I'm Sabuku the Carpenter. Have you seen our boss, boy? He's probably worried about me. I have to get back to him right away. One more of our workers is still prisoner police safe. That was my king impression right there, the king. Like the kings. The kings in uh, Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, I took his dog, Rex. That's a good looking dog. I didn't take him. I got him a new brain, okay? <sighs> Our pets' heads are falling off! Alright, this is the door we came in, but still. Alright, so where is there left to go? Oh, don't. Do, 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 do. I might want to get intentionally caught here, I'm not sure. So that door just leads over there. Nothing to do over there, though. I guess let's just head back in this door and try to backtrack, see what we missed. See what we've missed. Alright, so there's this lady over here. Oh, you might want to re-equip your arrows there, Linkapoo. See if we can get this lady long distance. Not with aim like that. Damn C-stick. Alright, I'm going to start using the buttons from now on. The Y button. See, I would have used the buttons from the beginning, and then I wouldn't have been able to use the whole C-stick excuse. But I didn't know what button correlated to the bottom C, because I know Y is C left, and X is C right. But A and B have their own separate uses, so that can't be C down. So then I figured out Z is the C down, but that would seem like it should be C up, because it's above the other two buttons. 
So it always seemed kind of weird to me, so I was resilient to try, but... That's not that bad, I guess. So let's just stand right up here in the open and shoot this lady in the head. Or fail, or fail, or fail. Alright, I'll just shoot you then. Man, shot her right in the neck. Oh, sorry. And we'll get you in the head. Alright, let's get out of here. So let's go back up this way. We've already seen where that top route... Nope, get up there, Link. Damn it. Whatever. We've already seen where that comes out, because I came back through that entrance the other way. So I must have missed a duel up here somewhere. A duel. A carpenter. So what do we get? Ichiro, Jiro, and Saburu. Oh yeah, you can go right up here. Is there a guard up here? No? Alright, good. Oh, there's no door up here, though. Can you jump up there, Link? No? Alright, fine. Hmm. Let's check it. Oh, did I go in that door down there? I don't think so. What about this one right here? Did I go in this one? No, I don't think so. Let's try this one. I think this is the one I missed, because this one's kind of hard to see. Oh my god, I've only got five arrows left. Yeah, we haven't been in here. I don't think. Yes, yeah, so this one you got to be careful. Uh, just hide behind this first box here, because that lady comes right up in your business right there. Very easy to get caught. Yeah, we haven't been in here yet. Don't be wasting arrows now. Oh yeah, here we go. So here's the final carpenter. All right. Yeah, yeah, young man. Don't come at me sideways, man. I'm not drinking any effing Merlot. If they want to drink Merlot, we're drinking Merlot. No, if anybody orders Merlot, I'm leaving. I am not drinking any fucking Merlot. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Link's like, yeah. So I understand. A guard's gonna pop up behind me, and I'll kill her. All right. You think you'd get the picture after you know? three times already, but no. Bring it. So, none of these are any tougher than the others. They're all the same. Yeah, they'll do fancy moves like that every once in a while. You can try to guard or dodge or shield it, but you know what? We have so many hearts right now, it really doesn't even matter. The time we save is much more valuable than the hearts we lose, sadly. I know, I'm sorry to say it, because, I mean, it hurts Link, but you know what? Link, you'll survive. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. Now I'm free, thanks. I'm Shiro. <laughs> For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the Jurudu's desert I overheard Jurudu's talking about. Yeah, they said Northern Girls on the wasteland. You'll need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of the wasteland. Yep, and the Colossus is where the temple is, so that's where we want to go. Alright, so basically for saving them, I'll just spoil it now because we probably won't see it. Have I really been recording for 32 minutes? No way. I've seen your fine work. To get past the guards here, you have good thieving. You must have good thieving skills. Nope, just good sneaking skills. I didn't steal anything. I used to think that all men besides the great Ganondorf were useless, but now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Noburu, Alida, put me in charge of the fortress. The exalted Daburu. It's like on Wind Waker when you're in the auction and they describe the people who bid as the esteemed, like the esteemed Linda. But no, the exalted Naburu. Naburu is the second in command to the great Ganondorf, king of Jerudu thieves. Her headquarters are in the spirit temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? All right then, you're in from now on. Take this with it. You will have free access to all areas of the fortress. And we get the Jurdu's membership card. So with this, we can get into the Jurdu's training ground, which is uh, which is inclusive to where you get this whole area. You can now walk around freely, and you will not get stopped by guards. Um, we can also go into the archery range, which yields a heart piece, and or no, the biggest quiver, and then the heart piece, I believe. <coughs> and then we can also go to the training grounds itself, which is where you get the ice arrows, which are in no way necessary for completion of the game whatsoever. But, you know, if you want a decked out item screen, then you gotta do it. 
And it also grants us access to this area over here, which leads to the Spirit Temple. But first, there are a few things you gotta go through. So, yeah, it's the Haunted Wasteland, basically. 